pointed at the black sky, punctured here and there by a silver star. My first attempt at conversation with him went something like this. Are you from Chile then? This was followed by a very uneasy silence. <laughs> after a while, the old man straightened his short legs and after removing his hat, replied in a loud, clear voice, No, senor, I was born over there, pointing to the west. We lived in the foothills, the other side of the lake. He was referring to the Nawalwapi Lake. The pregnant silence was accentuated by the crackling of the wood in the fire as the smoke quietly rose into the black Andean night. The land was all ours. It is all ours. Although nobody could say they owned it, it was just the land where we lived. And we're the people of that land. He seemed to have finished talking, but nobody, including myself, dared to invade the silence. With a few words, he had cast a spell over us, and we sat there, unable to move or speak, listening to the silence. Then unexpectedly, Si, senor, life was simple. We did not have to work. There was no such thing as money. His voice faded as he mumbled to himself. He was reminiscing 